29 degrees outside. Tenants keep running the AC. Keeps freezing up because it's so cold outside. Filter's good. Charge is probably good, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this if you have tenants that keep running their AC when it's cold out. Now, most techs that I've worked with and supervisors just pull the breaker and leave it off and then they walk away. But I'm gonna show you another way that you can control the air conditioner and make it not freeze up and they can run it. So if you live in a place that has a lot of temperature swings, like Colorado where it could be 70 one day and 25 the next, this is gonna work for you. Our unit's been thawing for a couple of hours now and I've got enough pipe to do what I want. And what I'm gonna do is install a freeze protection control right on the suction line. And as it says, this will open, which will cut the wire. One of the wires, it doesn't matter which one, one of the low voltage wires, which will shut off the condenser and it won't close, allowing the compressor to run until this switch gets to 50 degrees. So if it's below 50 outside, it's probably not gonna run at all. And if it's below, if it's as cold as it was this morning, it's definitely not gonna run. But as soon as this begins to freeze up, this switch cuts the low voltage to the contactor so the compressor and fan don't run. And that way we're not getting liquid refrigerant returning to the compressor, which can take them out. And also the tenant will be able to run their AC when it's cold out for a little bit and most of the times they won't even know they won't even notice that it's turning on and off here's our low voltage wires we've got a 24 volt and a 24 volt common it doesn't matter which one you do I'm gonna do what I believe is a 24 volt common and our contactor just turned off as you can hear here's our switch I'm gonna run these wires up through here. Make sure I got enough room to mount it, I do. One of the wires is gonna go to this end and you can switch these ends too, it doesn't matter. I'm doing the non-live side first. Now I'm just gonna mount this sensor right here on the suction line. And it might be cold enough to open. I hope it is so we can see it in action. But that that's staying right there, that's sturdy. That ain't going nowhere. Turn our power back on. Now the unit's running again. And just to show you, this just shut off as I hooked it up to ice. So it just breaks this wire and the inside fan will continue to run while the coil thaws out, but this should prevent the coil from even freezing up. It'll start to freeze up and ultimately you do want to place this inside at the evaporator but like i said this is for um tenants that like to run their ac when it's 30 degrees outside all night just a quick trick that i found extremely helpful with tenants that run their ac when it's freezing cold outside let me know what you guys do anyway thank you so much for watching my name's dave see you on the next one